Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Wednesday, the 30th day of August. It is International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearance. Yikes, that's not good. International Whale Shark Day. National Beach Day. It's kind of weird that those two things had happened on the same day. National Grief Awareness Day and National Toasted Marshmallow Day. Also, I am very excited for my guest today. Our son is going to be so jealous. I'm visiting with Craig Ferguson. Yeah, oh, Craig he loves Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. I know he does. And I was telling him, I get to talk to Craig Ferguson, and he's like, maybe, yeah, you probably, this will fall through. You wouldn't even get to talk to him. <laughs> I've had that happen. I usually don't tell you guys who I'm going to talk to until I know for sure that we're talking to him. But <laughs> Craig Ferguson, for sure, coming up in just a bit. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. A new study has found that playing a musical instrument as a child could have mental benefits later in life. Researchers at the University of Edinburgh uh, determined that musicians do better on cognitive ability tests as adults age 70 to 82 than those who never played an instrument. Again, Why? I think this is something we already knew. But... Why is that? Scientists are not sure, but they believe that it's, uh, the, abil- the ability to play an instrument helps, like reading sheet music and stuff, helps with coordinating hand and eye movement, all of that. All of those things can strengthen neural connections in your brain overall and help with overall brain function. So That's great. They're like, you know, we don't know why, but we just think it's a good thing because according to this, it's a good thing. Here's what I would say. It also makes you a happier person if you can play an instrument. I've always wished I could. I can play the heck out of a recorder. Happier. So, huh? How do you know you'd be happier? Because I'd love to play an instrument. I think it'd be fun. I'd be happy. <laughs> I wouldn't be complaining right now, would I? <laughs> At least not about this. I'd find something else you to complain about. You would find something sure. else to complain about. Yeah. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com. That's genesisgoldira.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know the average ticket price to see a superstar soccer player Lionel Messi's first regular season Major League Soccer game was $483. His appearance against New York Red Bulls sent ticket prices nearly 1,000% higher than normal for the team. Hmm. Their tickets usually sell for $46. Instead, it was $483. It was the average. How crazy is that? That's crazy. Yeah. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Angelina Jolie is flipping the bird to somebody in a tattoo. And when this story came out, they didn't know who. Update, now we know who. It was her ex-husband, Brad Pitt. So she had a tattoo. There's a whole story. There's actually a couple stories. If you want to read them, so I've got She got, got a tattoo of herself flipping the bird? She's got a tattoo. I don't know. I'm just moving on. Kim Kardashian <laughs> is going to haunt your dreams in as a doll, apparently. First teaser for American Horror Story, Delicate Part 1. Oh, okay. So she's going to be uh, doing some sort of thing in that, I guess. So I've got a link if you want to read that. September 20th is when that premieres, by the way. And here's the one I care about. The upcoming Frasier. Oh, yeah, the revival series. Frasier Kelsey Grammer so has officially have as a premiere date now, Thursday, October the twelfth on Paramount Plus. Uh, they're going to follow Fraser Crane in his next chapter of life as he returns to Boston with new challenges to face, new relationships to forge, and an old dream or two to finally fulfill. So, I'm excited that uh, this is coming out, and and there's several people who are going to be on the program with him that you remember from Cheers or you remember from Fraser. The actual TV program, Frasier. So 
interesting, exciting, fun stuff coming your way. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Starbucks has donated used coffee grounds and old pastries for research to see whether they can be used as biofuel. So can you imagine oh. pulling up to the pump and getting, instead of unleaded, getting decaffeinated? It would smell <laughs> so good. What's that? $908 a gallon? <laughs> <laughs> and a study shows drinking a lot of beer does not give you a beer gut. So this study was done by somebody going to college <laughs> who wanted to just prove that, you know, that what they're doing is fine. And finally, you've seen it play out a million times. You and your significant other spend the evening together, but apart. One is on a phone, one is on another phone, yeah. or maybe on a tablet. The other's watching TV or playing video games. Maybe one is reading while the other one's finishing up work on a laptop. Is there a wedge in your relationship? Actually, quite the opposite, according to psychologists. They say enjoying separate things while physically together is known as parallel play, Heidi. And listen to this. Are you ready for this? Do you think it's I'm good or bad? I'm ready. Do I think what's good or bad? Parallel play. Parallel play. play? I personally think it's bad. Well, you're wrong. It can strengthen your relationship with your partner. In an article from psychotherapist, not just a psycho, not just a therapist, she's a psychotherapist, Sarah Breen told uh, Well and Good that parallel play can facilitate both increased independence and closeness between partners. How? Parallel play isn't about being independent of one another. It's about getting to be yourself and enjoying what brings you pleasure while knowing your partner is right there if you happen to need them or if you want to talk to them about what you're doing, end quote. So I like that. There I know times, you like that because you always want your face in some sort of a device instead no, not of necessarily. being present. No, that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes it's fun to be present, but a lot of the time I'm like, uh, what was that? Were you talking <laughs> yeah, to me? Exactly. You're not even listening to me. That's a weird way to start a sentence. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Craig Ferguson. Craig, my son, is a huge fan. I'm also a big fan, but I was telling him, hey, I get to talk to Craig Ferguson today, and he was a little bit jealous. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. Well, I, you know, anything we can do to make our kids entertainers, I think, is our job as parents. So, uh, so you're welcome. So my son knows you from The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, but there's other people who know you for different reasons. They might know you from The Drew Carey Show. They might know you as a voice of one of the characters on a cartoon. Or maybe they know you because of the amazing books you've written. You've done so many fun things, and you've got a new project now, Joy. And I love this. Tell me a little bit about Joy. Uh, you know, look, I don't want to force anybody into doing anything they want to do, but I, <laughs> I, I, they should know it's there if they want to listen to it. I talk to different people for about 45 minutes to an hour about how they manufacture or how they create or how they deal with joy in their life. And the reason why I wanted to talk about joy is because it's a very loose format, but, it, but what it would do is it would force the conversation to be intimate in the sense of, not intimate in the sense of, hey, what are you wearing in the bedroom? Although there's a little bit of that kind of conversation, <laughs> but more of those, it, 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 would, it would make the conversation about the person I was talking to. And that kind of what I, I wanted to achieve with it. But it, it really is just, it, you know, something that, that, that accentuates the positive, as the song says. There, there are plenty of uh, media outlets for, for negative uh, emotions right now. And, that's good. That seems to be what people want. But I like to give people what they don't want. So that's what I'm doing right now with joy. And I honestly think people do want joy, but we're served up everything else from all of these other places. So I love the fact that you're giving us joy. And you've always kind of marched to the beat of your own drum, haven't you? I, I, I like 
think that most of the beat of my own drum. I think that, you know, that whenever I feel like it's a great, I think the media is like, you ever have watched toddlers playing soccer and like the <laughs> ball goes and they all run after the ball and <laughs> it's just like, I think the media is a bit like that. The ball goes over there and they all run after the ball. But once you learn how to play soccer, you learn to position yourself maybe at different places away from the, uh, of the, from the play. And and that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't want to just run after it because everyone else is running after it. Yeah. Especially now, you know, I'm a little older now. I'm 61 years old. I kind of want to do what I want. And you absolutely should do that. Now, one of the things that I want to make sure I share with you is how much this meant to me. I was watching your program one night, and you kind of bared your soul, and you told a story. I've got many friends who struggle with addiction, and that's something that you struggled with. And I've got a lot of friends in recovery that love your story because you talked about how, you know, before you got in recovery, Alcohol saved your life, but it was a funny way to tell a story that was kind of a, a, a very tear-jerking, interesting story, and I love the story, and I'll share a link to it so people can find it, but but I, I want to just say thank you very much for bearing your soul and sharing that story. I can't direct you to it because I don't really have any official connection <laughs> to it other than it's my story. But you can find it on, on YouTube for sure. Well, it's an inspirational story, and thank you for sharing it. Now, you've got books out. You've got this new podcast. You've got television shows. You've got movies. You've done voiceover for animation. There's so many amazing platforms you've worked in. Is there something you'd like to do that you haven't had a chance to do yet? I don't really feel that way about it in a funny kind of way. I I, I, I felt like, like that a lot more when I was younger. I wanted to, but I feel like I've done a lot of that. What I do right now and what I enjoy doing is that I love to do live stand-up shows that are not being recorded, that are only in the room, that are only there for that moment, that night, because I I kind of love it. I love the energy of it. So as long as the heavens will allow and let me do that, that's what I'd like to do. And how has that changed in the last you know 15 years or so where the whole world seems to be offended by everything? Has that affected how Craig Ferguson does stand-up comedy? I, I've never been a great fan. Uh, to the phrase you can't say that <laughs> I, I hope that, that what I do doesn't make anyone feel bad about themselves but I kind of always hope that when I was younger I maybe was a little more clumsy and in, uh, in how I presented the stuff but I, I don't I don't really feel a big difference in the world like that. I mean I know I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of you know activity around that kind of idea that you you know you, you mustn't say that you mustn't say that but I, I can't feel like that. I don't feel respected in any way by that. I kind of talk about what I want to talk about. I love that, and I think that's what other people love about you as well. Craig, thank you so much for talking with us today. All right, thank you. Nice to talk to you and tell your son ha ha. I will absolutely do that. Again, our guest today has been Craig Ferguson. I've got a link to his new program, Joy, and a link to the video I was talking about in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We are for a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Wind does not make a sound until it blows against an object. So wind just blowing in an open area makes no noise whatsoever. That makes sense. It's the sound of the wind hitting things that you hear. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Rainbows are circular. We don't typically see the full circle because the earth is in the way. The horizon blocks the lower part. But rainbows are actually I have actually circular. seen a whole images rainbow? of the full rainbow. Like from people yeah. on airplanes, yeah. you can see the full circle. I was going to say that's where you see them. Yep. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are more Lego minifigures on Earth than there are people. There's more yes, Lego people than there are people. Yes, we've read that before. And our final fun fact for you, what Heidi. What is that, John? Tablecloths were originally meant to be used as a towel with which diner guests, dinner guests rather, <laughs> or diner guests, could wipe their hands and faces after eating. Wait a minute. You're telling me I'm not supposed to do that now? <laughs> it's exactly what I do now. It's also why I'm never invited back. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. 
Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question Heidi, on average, we end up throwing away a quarter of this product what is it about a quarter of it gets thrown away we don't even use it all i don't know bread oh i don't know if we do because heidi is like oh you can't even taste the mold (laughs) she seriously is like taking i gotta just break off a little piece that had the mold i'm like throw the whole thing away we're good with that Mint Mobile question of the day. She's not defending herself because she knows it's true. <laughs> it is Mint true. Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A small town in France has gone viral for making a busy intersection with overlapping white lines in order to confuse motorists and force them to slow down. Sounds like a horrible idea. The town of Bonn, B-A-U-N-E, is home to about 1,700 people, but it deals with heavy traffic on a daily basis because of its location near two major roads. Some of the roughly 2,300 vehicles that pass through every day reach speeds of over 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour, even though the town has clearly marked speed limits of 30 miles Ooh, or yikes. kilometers, which is uh, uh, 18 miles per hour. Holy cow! Local authorities came up with the idea of confusing road markings in the form of overlapping continuous lines, and it's worked. People are driving along and they're like, what am I, what supposed, am I supposed to, to do? do That's here? cool. That's so they got idea. these lanes that kind of confuse people. I think that's probably a bad idea, but whatever. If it's working, you know, it's working. Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Here are seven practices that lead to sustained happiness and good health, according to an 85-year study at Harvard. That student has been there a while. Oh, it might be more than one. (laughs) Okay. Um, We'll do from the top here. Number seven, maintaining stable long-term friendships and loving relationships. That's going to help you be happy and have good health. Six, fostering a growth mindset. The course added, invest in education or the practice of lifelong learning. Of course, it's from a institution that does (laughs) that exactly number five adopting an adaptive coping style the study explains this means you have good conflict resolution Uh, number four exercising daily three maintaining a healthy body weight two avoiding alcohol abuse and the number one thing not smoking that is the seven practices that lead to sustained happiness and good health according to an 85 year harvard study I would agree with all of those. I think all of those seem good. There's a couple of those that maybe have a blurry line, you know, especially if you had too much to drink. (laughs) 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 What? All right. The list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from comedian Caroline Ray, who says... My favorite machine at the gym is the vending machine. (laughs) I have heard that one before, and I love that. I do, too. I think that's funny. Uh, One of my favorite comedians has a joke about going to the gym, and he was uh, working out, and they said, hey, you want to get out of the painter scaffolding? (laughs) I think that's funny, too. Quote of the day comes your way. Oh, that was Brian Regan, by the way. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. 
This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And uh, take a listen to this. I think this is an absolutely amazing story here. Uh, a dog saves the life of a sleeping family from a houseboat fire. So a family in Virginia calling their foster dog a hero saved them from a fire that destroyed their entire houseboat. Portsmouth Humane Society allows people to check out an adoptable dog, take the dog to a local event as part of their Paws Around Portsmouth program. Well, a couple weeks ago, Chris Kushina and Sheila Janes checked out a great Pyrenees named Moose. The family of five took Moose to the market, advertising the pup is looking for a home. They said they met a potential owner, but she couldn't adopt Moose that day, so the family brought Moose to their houseboat on the Tidal Water Yacht Marina, and they all went to sleep. Well, the family slept. The boat next to theirs caught fire. Moose woke the family up and alerted them to smoke pouring in from the neighboring boat. Those were critical minutes, Janes told Newsweek. It happened so quickly, and at that point, every second counts. Well, the family was able to get out safely, but their home was completely destroyed, and they lost everything. I bet Moose is no longer a foster dog. Well, a week later, uh, he was rescued by a Portsmouth family who was following the story on the local news. Um, They were not able to because now they don't even have a house. Said we had seen that he had been returned, and I talked to my husband and said, "I, I think Moose should come home with us. So they brought Moose home, and they've already got other dogs and cats and chickens and goats and a tortoise, and they say, oh, Moose is here to stay. So this family, there's a, a, a photo and a video if you want to see this. Um, it's very, very sad. I am shocked that the people who lost their house oh, didn't find a way to keep that dog. I, I think that they probably would have, but they they don't even have a house right now, Heidi. They have no place. So I'm sure that that's all in the works. And you know, But that's also where they were going, hey, if they want moose, and these people are like, no, that's our dog now. Sorry. He's going to save us now. <sighs> all right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.